Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here is my ebook call for July. I have quite a few books on here, so let's get started. These are all the ebooks that I ended up borrowing from Kindle Unlimited or books that I ended up downloading for free in July. Before I get into the Kindle Unlimited section, I do want to mention that I got an arc of Guarded by the Bodnik by Layla Fay um, because I am on her arc team. This is a bodyguard romance with a heavily tentacled man. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read this one. I love her books and I love bodyguard romances. And so when you throw in monsters on top of that, I am sold. So thank you so much, Layla, for sending that one my way. The first book that I have on Kindle Unlimited that I ended up getting is Nero by S.J. Tilly. I'm going to be meeting S.J. Tilly at a book signing. I don't know if it's the one this year or next year, but regardless, I'm meeting her at some point and I know I need to read her books because my lovely friend Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads loves her books so i needed to pick one up i picked up nero because i think that was the first one she picked up or was just the first book in a series i honestly can't remember but um i just wanted to pick up an estra tilly book and i did this was a great book if you want a mafia romance with like awesome plus size representation i really recommend this one our hero sneaks in to our heroine's um like apartment building because her um like balcony door is open to let in some fresh air and he's running from like the cops or something and he goes into her apartment and she's like what the heck but then he becomes her like stalker after that point and they fall for each other it's a great mafia read he's like absolutely obsessed with her if you want a man who is obsessed with his woman you need to pick this one up i also got sinful mate by trish henrich off of kindle limited i believe i've read a werewolf shifter book by this author um but i saw friends to lovers alien romance and i was like yeah let's do it because i don't think i've read many i think all of my friends to lovers ones that i've read are by ruby in her ice planet barbarian series because she knows how to write them like so well so yeah i just downloaded this i wanted a alien romance book i haven't read it yet but I hope too soon. I think in about a year at a book signing, I'm going to be meeting Morgan Elizabeth. So let's pick up one of her books. I just have it on my KU. Um, this is Tis the Season for Revenge. Okay, this one has been on um, many TBRs for me. I've been wanting to read it. My friends love this book. All I know is that our heroine decides to get back at her ex-boyfriend for dumping her by getting with his boss and going to like the company Christmas party that she was never invited to by her ex-boyfriend. But then she ends up falling for the boss, obviously. So um, it sounds really fun. My friends love it. And I think this is like a great starter for her books. And it's the first book in a series that I really want to read. And I don't care if it's like Christmas themed, I will read those like any time of year. The rest of the books I got for free. Okay, so first is The Fall Apart by L.M. Wolf. This one is available on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. And I'll let you know if they're still free. Also, the ones that I got for free. I believe this is a marriage and trouble romance. Our heroine is a mom to four kids and she's reflecting on her marriage, which is on the edge of divorce. And I believe it's a marriage and trouble, marriage and crisis book. Then is Diesel, a steamy cyborg romance by Cyber Fire. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, this one is available off of Kindle Unlimited. I just saw steamy cyborg romance and got it. <laughs> I didn't read anything else. And I don't really need to know anything else. I love cyborg romances. They're really fun. I read a few of them. I need to read more. I wish I could do like a whole rec video, but I think I've only literally read two or three. And I always, I always, my brain only makes me do 10. Like I need 10 books to do a rec video. So I need to read more. So if you have any cyborg romance recs, leave them below, please. Next is a baseball romance. I need to read more of those as well. This is Second Chance Hero by Kimberly Reednauer. Reednauer. I'm so sorry. I'm horrible at pronunciations. Please correct me. Please correct me. This one isn't on Kindle Unlimited, but it is $4.99 to purchase. This is a second chance romance and it's the first book in the Bad Boys Redemption series. So turns out our hero Zach and Lacey were in college together, but after graduation, he made the biggest mistake of his life and he let Lacey go. It's five years later, he's made a name for himself. He's a very prevalent, famous uh, pitcher on a baseball team, but then he sees Lacey in a post-pref conference room and things just blow up from there i'm assuming so i love baseball romances and i need to read more next i have where the river takes you by sophie sinclair this is a small town romance 
first book in a full time romance series. It's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99. Oh, we have another baseballer, but he's an ex baseball star, Tucker. He prefers to be alone in the small mountain town where he grew up. The last thing he needs is a high, strong, clean, obsessed roommate for the summer. He acts as a plan to drive her perfectionist sensibilities into overdrive and out of his house. What he doesn't expect is to fall in love with her. So it's opposites attract, really fun. And I have Noir by Cassandra Chandler. This is still available for free. Honestly, when I see like well-rated alien romances, I just get them. So like this has a 4.4 uh, rating. So yeah, I don't even read the summaries for those, honestly. So it turns out our hero accompanies his crown prince on his alien planet to Earth to find women. And I believe he finds a woman while he's there. I don't really know. Summary's kind of vague, um, but it's a well-rated alien romance. That's a win. <laughs> Next is Harm's Way by Karen Renee. This is a part of a motorcycle club series and it is still available to download for free. Ooh, we have a heroine who's a car dealer, okay. She runs into her long lost stepbrother and his sexiest sin best friend when she moves to a new small town and the last thing she wants in her life is another man like she is sick of it her ex-boyfriend apparently like stole her identity <laughs> so she is not looking for a man but the president of the riot mc has his eyes set on her so i love a good mc president romance. Next is Hope Bridge by C.L. Quinn. This one's available off of Kindle Unlimited. So it looks like Miles, our hero, is having a hard time, but he just decides to take a walk in a different town. He moves from Chicago, goes somewhere else, and he's walking along this bridge that has a history of suicides. He's not there to jump, but he's very drawn to the bridge. And then Lacey ends up seeing him, like his silhouette, on her way home from work, and she decides to approach him because she has a lot of experiences with people on that bridge that she would like to avoid. So I believe this one's gonna be emotional. Next I have Blood and Bone by Paula Dom. I'm just gonna say Paula Dom, I'm so sorry. Please tell me how to pronounce that. Um, this is available to download for free. This isn't my normal cup of tea because it looks like it's a rock star love triangle romance, but um, I'm willing to give things a shot, you know? This is apparently an angst-fueled romance. It has a dangerously addictive love triangle a second chance love and it is a steamy intensely emotional slow burn rock star romance and it also says trigger warnings for abuse addiction and suicide next is wake my heart by lydia michaels this is available to download for free still it is a second chance small town romance so ryan ends up moving to the outskirts of his small town and the last thing he expects to find is love but once he meets maggie the beautiful young widow next door his plans change but maggie's not really looking for anything she has reserved herself to the small town to have a life alone because um of what happened to her husband so next i have safe with me by stephanie nicole norris this is still available to download for free it's the first book in the falling for rose series Ooh, our hero is an ex-boxer and heavyweight champion i don't need to know anything else i don't need to know anything else he sounds good i'm gonna read that <laughs> next i have signs of trouble by anna Acclaire. this is a grumpy cowboy romance and it's on kindle unlimited it looks like it's a single mom as well but it is book number two in a series so we'll see we'll see i need to pick up book number one first next is a taste of darkness by carly claire this is the first book in the embrace the darkness series it is also on kindle unlimited so claire has left kind of a solitary life she doesn't have a family um she grew up without one and um, she found friends in college, but it's still not the same. She's kind of left a sol lived a solitary life. Um, and so the summer before her senior year of college, she meets a dark, mysterious man who introduces her to a whole new world of riches, pleasure, and passion. Suddenly she finds herself halfway across the world under the watchful eye of Remington Bordeaux, gorgeous, wealthy, and for some reason that Claire can't fathom is oddly intrigued by her. So it's a dark romance. And I think there's gonna be some fun stuff in that one. Another alien romance that I just got. <laughs> this is The Captive by Jenny Foster. This is still available to download for free. This cover, stunning to me. I love it. It reminds me of an Amanda Milo book. They have the same like spines on the back. Um, one of her books does. So um, was interested in that. But yeah, this is a captive alien romance. So that's all I really needed to know. And it has a great rating. So another one I just downloaded without without reading the summary this is house of valdis origins zenobia zenobia this is still available to download for free i saw an alien woman and just got it 
I never see alien women on anything. Um, it's a really big like point of contention with alien romance readers. We're like, we want more alien women. Where are the alien women? I found an alien woman. So I just got it and it was free. So yeah, I am a little worried though because I think it's a part of a series and like I need to read the other books in the series to read this. Next is Rescued by Quian, a forbidden alien romance. This is the first book in the Galactic Pirate Bride series. Pirate Bride? Yeah, done. With aliens, yes, this is still available to download for free. So our hero, Quian, an evil corporation, ruthlessly destroyed his home planet and left his species without females. So now he and his crew are out for revenge on the, on the people who did that. And then they rescue a beautiful human female from her cryogenic slumber. She awakens primal urges in Quian's soul that he never thought he'd feel again. Ooh, yes, Fate of Mates. Love that. This cover had me very intrigued and I'm kind of in the paranormal romance mood. So this is Wolf of Ash by Amelia Shaw. This is still available to download for free. So this is a slow burn paranormal romance and is the first book in the Shifter Rejected series. So Talia is our heroine. One well, moment her future is planned. She's set to marry the handsome heir of the Northwood Pack. And the next those plans are shattered and dashed to the wind, just like her dreams. So her father ends up disobeying a direct order to retreat on a pack mission and goes rogue. Countless lives are needlessly lost lost. With the pack baying for blood, the alpha can no longer forgive his old friend's trespasses and executes him right in front of his own daughter. Wow. Okay. I I don't know if I wanted to read that in the summary. That would have been a great shocker, honestly. But Talia's father's sins are too great and not even his death appeases the pack's collective wrath. The young she will soon finds herself banished on the pain of death, cast from the only family she's ever known. Orphaned and outcast, Talia's last hopes lie with her fated mate. But with the Alpha's word as law, Maddox cruelly rejects their bond. And like her father, she's branded a traitor. Given just 72 hours to get over state lines, Talia runs. But things go from bad to worse. When a last minute sentimental detour, she sees her captured by Galen, the devastatingly gorgeous heir to the long claw pack and the very wolf her father tried to kill. Ooh. I love the rejected mate trope, but I love when the person who rejects her grovels and like gets her back. So I don't think that's what that is, but who knows, maybe I might like it. Another like monster alien one is Trina courted on Neodynes. Neodynes, this is still available to download for free. I saw this cover and just got it. He looks like a gargoyle man, <laughs> which I'm a sucker for gargoyle man, so. Next is Reckless Kiss by Grace Harper. This is available off of Kindle Limited. This is a small town fake engagement romance. So our hero Archer never thought that he'd leave his career on an oil rig and now he finds himself striking a deal with his aunt to take over the family hotel. All he has to do is find a wife. So his aunt will give him the hotel early if her like wishes are met, right? All four children come home and Archer marries within one year. So he used to find someone who was willing to marry a man who has oil embedded under his fingernails. So that's all I really know. We have like a, a working man owning a hotel. And the last one that I have is Grumpy Mechanic by Ginger Hudson. This is available off of Kindle Limited. This is a small town romance. A lot of small town romances on this list today. So April Rivers is on a road trip and everything is going great until her car breaks down just outside the small town of Love Springs. Ben Walker reluctantly takes the call to tow April into town. The last thing he wants or needs in his life is a cheerfully optimistic blonde that barely has a penny to her name. She's too spontaneous, she smiles too much, and she's way too interested in trying to get to know the town's local grumpy mechanic better. Love a grumpy sunshine, so yeah. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the eBooks that I ended up downloading last month in July. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, but if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a car emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.